Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. This is Rustam. Uh, in a previous video, I had talked about types of paragraphs, or we can say we uh, I talked about types of essays. As I said uh, that uh, a paragraph is a unit of writing. So if we learn how to write a paragraph, we can write a full-fledged or full-length essay. So there are uh, I mentioned four types of paragraph. Uh, okay, if you can recall. I had told you that there were there are descriptive paragraphs, narrative paragraphs, argumentative paragraphs and expository paragraphs. In this short video I'll try to talk about expository uh, writing. So what is expo expository uh, paragraph? So expository writing uh, is actual writing which gives us facts and figures, okay? So it doesn't describe anything. It 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 doesn't tell a story or it doesn't uh, you know give arguments. It just provides information, okay, facts and ideas. This kind of writing concerns itself much more with facts and ideas. Okay, we use words such as justify, explain, compare and contrast, give reasons for etc. Or we can say define. You might have seen these words in your exam paper, like uh, there m might have been a question like define the following or you can say <laughs> compare and contrast the characters of Olivia and Viola. Okay, Compares the, uh, compare and contrast the characters of uh, let's say King Lear, uh, sorry you can say uh, Regan and Cordelia. So, such words compare and con contrast justify justify give reason etc are is known as expository writing okay now first uh, these are the sub scales of expository writing in expository writing we can define things okay uh, we can write a paragraph in which definition is given uh, and uh, definition uh, follows us uh, a set formulaic pattern okay how like let's say we can mention person place or thing to be defined then we can have a verb like is am are was were etc then we give general class word okay uh, like wh whether something is instrument a vehicle or etc and then specific characteristics used for let's say if you want to define a pen you will say a pen is an instrument used for writing so this sentence is known as uh, definition now you can expand it this is a topic sentence okay so you can give supporting details okay you can say a pen is an instrument used for writing and further details can be given so such sentence is known as definition this is a definition okay uh, let me take you to uh, here is an activity for you how are you going to define these three things so you can say a university is a place to study at a university is a place to study at ok psycholinguistics a psycholinguistics is a uh, a field of studying lang relationship of language and brain okay okay you can uh, psycholinguistics is uh, a science of language okay psycholinguistics is sub branch of uh, you know linguistics which deals with study of mind and language the heart is uh, the heart is a muscular organ in our body which pumps the blood so this is how we can define so second sub skills of expository writing is giving classification we sometimes classify things and our, our paragraph uh, consists of classification ok let me read uh, this paragraph uh, classification means the grouping together okay let me underline it grouping together of people places or things 
according to some criterion or principle okay uh, let's say we can group things we can divide uh, many we can use many criteria such as uh, here is example of cars if you want to classify cars you can use their size color make country of origin power etc okay and uh, let's say when when making a classification it is important to use only one criterion at any given time imagine that you have to classify the following assortment of cars let's say red suzuki car white suzuki pickup black mercedes red toyota red uh, morris white fiat and green volkswagen so how you are going to do it you can say japan one and two okay it it means they are made from japan okay one and two so you are mentioning the make the uh, uh, the country of origin okay you will say suzuki car and suzuki pickup are japanese made okay this is one classification okay then uh, you can go for germany so germany then uk and then hd okay so what is the criterion being used here the country of origin okay now uh, classify the following item according to some criterion write what is the basis yes just another criterion and redivide them accordingly so if you have to divide these uh, you know you can say <coughs> uh we uh, there are many types of uh, food okay there are many types of food you can see there are uh, many uh, types of vegetables okay and then you can uh, classify them accordingly okay classification often uses enumeration okay we always use some enumeration here here is a sentence there are three kinds of books so enumeration there are three kinds of books which i enjoy now there will be a colon like this and then you will mention uh, let's say uh, pleasure pleasure books or let's say you can say um, science science books uh, travel books okay fiction etc this library is divided into three sections colon junior youth and senior this building has two parts an east wing and a west wing so this is how you classify things okay now we are moving towards uh, let's say these are other words which we can use like there are three types of division there are three uh, there are three factors uh, causing uh, fire okay there are three types of vehicles there are three two types of people in the world okay so there are uh, there are four reasons of road accidents okay now it means that you are going to classify the reasons okay uh, here is an is a, is an example of population okay we can see the word population can be divided into the young and the old as you can see division okay or you can uh, use another criteria you can say there are two types of people in the world okay the rich and the poor okay so you can use any criteria to classify things now another type of expository writing is known as comparison and contrast we compare and contrast two things comparison means that we uh, give similarities and contrast means that we talk about uh, dissimilarities okay we can uh, compare and contrast two characters okay uh, let me read for you actually uh, i am recording this video so that uh, you can read this text yourself and i am trying to explain things okay uh, these two thought processes often go together okay whenever we have to make a choice we start by comparing and contrasting various items within a group okay for example in choosing a pair of shoes we may compare the design okay the price the raw materials or the workmanship of various pairs okay 
before we finally select up here comparison while writing a comparison or a contrast between two items we can follow different patterns we can either take one item and mention all its qualities okay and then write about the item with which we are comparing is or we can compare and contrast the two items point by point here is an example okay air and road travel okay see the comparison if you want to write an expository expository paragraph on air and road travel so here are two you know paragraphs okay traveling by air let me highlight traveling by air is fast but monotonous traveling by air is fast but monotonous it is expensive okay on the other hand traveling by road takes longer but it is often more enjoyable and it is certainly cheaper you can see two things have been compared in the same paragraph this is one pattern now here's another pattern traveling by air is more expensive than road travel now both the things are being compared side by side okay in the first paragraph this one first uh, air uh, traveling by air was uh, you know dis uh, presented okay and later on uh, we uh, dis uh, talked about road travel but here both the things are being compared side by side traveling by air is more expensive than road travel if you do not have a seat by a window there are no views from a plane it is monotonous whereas see whereas when traveling by road you can see many towns and villages however air travel cuts down on traveling time while traveling by road takes much longer so you have the option either to describe uh, uh, either to mention f uh, a thing first so uh, here is pattern number one okay and here is pattern number two but as you can see this uh, this paragraph is known as expository writing and this paragraph is also known as expository writing and which sub skills of expository writing is being used compare and contrast okay okay now uh, here is an activity compare and contrast two members of your family using the first method okay okay <coughs> let me take you uh, we can use these words while comparing okay the same as 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 one is similar to the other etc and while contrasting that is while giving the dissimilarities we can say uh, something is different from okay uh, one thing is like this whereas the other thing is like this and so on another sub skills of uh, expository writing is known as analogy what do we do in analogy okay uh, when we try to explain something okay which is unknown to other students by comparing it with something that is known to them let's say i say a finger is uh, sorry uh, you can say uh, a rose petal okay uh, you can let let me give it uh, a finger is to a hand a finger is to a hand hand a finger is to a hand just as a petal is to a rose now in order to give the relationship between rose petal and rose we give the analogy of finger and hand okay because finger and hand is known to uh, everyone uh it, it what is the analogy or what is the relationship uh the whole and the part okay finger is a part of a hand so a rose a petal is a part of a rose okay here let me read for you a child may ask you how an airplane flies okay you may answer by comparing it with a bird this is a technique which is often used in expository writing an analogy is a comparison in which the similarity drawn is only superficial 
and the two items in fact belong to very different classes thus for example if we ask to describe the workings of the human heart we might begin by saying the human heart is like a pump so it is an analogy okay we are comparing human uh, heart with a pump and last and very important subskills of expository writing is known as cause and effect okay so another commonly used method of organizing given data logically is to highlight cause and effect relationships in academic writing a student is often asked to enumerate the causes which lead to an event which led to an event or conversely to mention the after effects of a given uh, event in a paragraph which enumerates cause and effect these relationships should be made clear in the topic sentence once again we often make use of enumeration okay here is an example topic sentence many household fires can easily be avoided if we are a little more careful you can see this is a topic sentence so this talks about household fires okay now what is the cause of these facts many household fires can easily be avoided if we are a little more careful so it it means that if we remove the causes now the writer is going to talk about the causes okay supporting details see supporting details in supporting details we are going to mention the causes okay here is cause number 1 sometimes people leave burning cigarettes in ashtrays so these cigarettes in ashtrays cause household fires okay so the fact is uh, cause and effect mean what is the effect household fire household fire is an effect so what is it caused it is caused by burning cigarettes which we leave in the ashtrays so if we don't toss uh, cigarettes into ashtrays these uh, fires can be avoided see expository paragraph okay now let me again uh, uh, there is a one se- uh, topic sentence this topic sentence means your paragraph starts with this sentence many household fires can easily be avoided if we are little more careful sometimes people leave a uh, burning cigarettes in ashtrays which then fall onto inflammable materials sometimes this is the second reason stoves are left burning with claws or wooden spoons uh, nearby as you can see people leave the stoves burning this is second reason children also cause household fires simply by playing with matches match box okay uh, in which there are match sticks so three things have been mentioned in this there are three causes we can also write there are three causes of uh, a household fire number 1 burning cigarettes which we uh, leave uh, in the ashtrays second uh, burning uh, stoves and third one match boxes so this is how we write an expository paragraph uh, showing a relationship of cause and effect okay uh, let me go to some another example in this paragraph we enumerated three causes of household fires we reason from effect to cause first we gave the effect that is household fires then we talked about causes but we can also express the relationship the other way around okay <clears throat> look at this example topic sentence there was no rain this year okay and this lack of rain has had many effects so cause has been given first and now we are going to give the effects okay so number 1 supporting details the country has lost a good portion of this year's crop many cattle have died for lack of drinking water many people have become sick and some have died so it means that we can give the cause first okay and then we can talk about effect cause and effect uh hope you have got how to you know write a paragraph showing cause and relationship and for showing causal relationship that is cause and effect relationship we can use the following phrases or following expressions okay there are very uh, there are various expressions which typically express this relationship okay we can say x causes y 
or x comma therefore y x happens because of y x occurs as a result of y okay now here is an ex uh, uh, activity uh, okay I, I leave it so that uh, I just going to wrap it up so that video should not be uh, lengthy one let me take you to the last so about the okay uh, here uh, at the end of this unit uh, let me take summary okay so uh, there are many types of uh, expository writing as you can see expository writing it can have definition classification comparison and contrast analogy cause and effect so whenever we write something okay we uh, either describe something in our writing or we can uh, give some narration a story we can tell stories we can give argument uh, argumentative paragraphs or we can give uh, expository writing we can write expositions that is a parag paragraph showing definitions classifications comparison and contrast analogy and cause and effect so you must uh, uh, remember that these are sub skills of expository writing sub skills of skills of expository writing expository writing i'll further record a video and i will give you uh, more examples of expository writing so for the time i think it suffices and we should <coughs> uh, finish this video here thank you very much